Hi everyone, this is John from MLCS Woodworking and the Woodworker Showroom. I wanted to talk to you today about coping and coping sleds. And it goes back to what the heck do you mean by coping? Well, years ago for crown moldings and corner joints, we used to have to cope them. And that required us to take a piece of crown, scribe it with a pencil, trusty coping saw, and cope it. Tedious, horrible. So the term coping carried over from hand joinery into router joinery. And what do we mean by coping the end of a piece of wood is on the end grain of the wood we're going to put a joint. It sounds pretty easy to do, but it can be a little bit terrifying at times. The first time I did it, I shot the piece of wood across the garage because I attempted to do it by hand. So here we have our piece of rail and we have the coping cutter for a rail and style set. So now I'm going to attempt to run this through this by hand. It's terrifying. It's not a good idea. The other way that you can attempt to do it is to use a miter gauge. And I have our K premium miter gauge set up. And guys like to do it this way, set it up this way, run it through like that. It works. It does work. However, the tendency of the cutter, because it's spinning counterclockwise, is to want to shoot this piece that way. So it gets a little terrifying. That's why we have coping slides. K premium coping sled and this is really the pinnacle of design for us the reason why we like this so much is because it's a heavy-duty design it's made from an aluminum plate on the bottom it's already pre-adjusted for the clearance that you're going to need for rails and styles it has two really beefy securing blocks and a very nice clamp to hold down your piece. The way that I have this set up right now is I have the initial piece and a sacrificial. So you can see here that I have our cut piece and our sacrificial. That just reduces tear out when you go to use it. And the way we line this up is on the table and we'll do that shortly. Secure it with a clamp, run it through, done. Really easy. Because it's a heavy duty design, we also designed the ability to add a second clamp. So if you wanted to put a tongue and groove or something on the end of a 2x4, you can do that. We can add an additional clamp. And we also have an offset spacer that allows you to go for larger profiles and deeper designs. Okay, so now we're back to our shop router table. And we're getting ready to use our coping sled. Remember guys, when you set up your cope cutter, you have to increase the height by a quarter of an inch to account for the thickness of the sled. So I'm just going to tap my up quarter of an inch here and just move the bit up for me. And then we're going to have our pieces in place. We're going to set it up against the fence, push them in, and secure them down. Now we're ready to cut. That's literally how easy it is to cope. So now our pieces are securely placed in the coping sled, and now we're going to make a cut. any help with this, please let us know. We're always here to help at MLCS. We're working. Have a great day, everyone.